If you'd like a simple way to de-stress and tap into your creativity, today I'll be sharing examples of my mindful mandala drawing practice. This is something you don't need a lot of materials for, you don't need previous art experience. I'll be sharing examples of ways you can make simple lines and marks and patterns, whether you're doing that in black and white or color, and most importantly, we'll be talking about how to make meaning of the marks you're making with an I am affirmation statement and some examples to inspire your own mark making. I'll be sharing some examples of mindful mandalas and the I am affirmation statements. And so these are in various sizes. You can see here, this is the seven by 10 journal paper that I had recommended. I took these out of the journal. For now, you can always keep them in your journal. This is a slightly smaller size. This is five by seven, which is also great for traveling or if you just wanna experiment with a smaller size. So we'll be flipping through these and I'll be sharing more about the process and the affirmation statements and we'll dive into it more as we go along in the course. This is one of the first mindful mandalas I created that combined both the drawing practice as well as the affirmation statements. And you can see here, I wrote it on the front. In many cases afterwards, I began writing them on the backs. I also uh, will have a separate journal page so I can do the whole writing process. So I am blooming, I am expanding, growing, connecting. I need support community to plant seeds. I am the one who feels disjointed, stitching pieces of me back together. So what you may notice with mindful mandalas is that I really encourage being simple with your marks in the space and everyone has their own uh, blueprint, their own artistic voice. So that's just a suggestion, largely because it is a very simple five minute practice and also because it doesn't take a lot with the imagery to express yourself and then to create a follow-up uh, I am statement from it. Sometimes if there's too much going on, it can start to feel a little murky. Um, so the less is more allows us to really distill down to that one or two things that you may be feeling in the moment. I am molding a protective container around me, deeply held with love. I am restricted, coiled tightly, protecting myself. So you can see here that some of these include color. So these are just with colored markers or the watercolor markers as well. You're welcome to add color if you'd like. You can also just stick with the Sharpie or with a pen, which I do recommend to begin just so you can really focus on the shapes and it'll give you more time because five minutes can go really quickly when you're um, creating your first mindful mandalas. Boom is a safe haven, a place where I can nestle and rest. So you can see how there's a specific writing practice afterwards and it is in the form of I am statements and it allows you to speak from the images and the four layers that you go through in the writing practice allows you to dive in deeper to the image than if you were to otherwise just glance at this. So if I were to look at this normally, uh, without that practice and try to come up with an I am or an affirmation statement, I might struggle with really coming to something very specific. So I may say something like I am spacious or I am rooted or I am nestled based on this image. But you can see with the writing practice, it allows you to really clarify and be very specific. I am one who has multiple home bases. I am connected to my tribe across the globe. So you'll see this one has writing on the front again as well. It's up to you if you wanna have your I am statement on the front or back. I do recommend keeping it somewhere with the image so you can always refer back to it later. And probably as you look at the image over time, that statement will change. So for this one, it says, I am outraged, betrayed, ready to explode and feel bound. I am releasing these chains, no more hooked, no more. And so you can see there's a lot of tension, that color of red for me really helped um, to express some of that outrage. And this one doesn't feel as spacious as some of the others. So that's why I was saying less can be more, but to not limit yourself to really allow yourself to express whatever wants to come out on the paper in that moment. 
I am containing my rage. Pain points clear in a tangled web of deceit. I choose to cut the string, no longer tied and bound. So what you'll notice also is that there can be a whole array of expression, both in different shapes and textures and marks, as well as the emotions that are expressed. Just to show you a few more examples here, noticing that you might see something differently in the images than say if I were to create it. So we each bring our own lens, our own sense of inquiry from where we are in this moment. Really allowing yourself to be curious as you create these. So you may explore different qualities of line or shapes or color if you decide to include color. Sometimes your affirmative statements might be very simple as well. This one simply is, I am evolving. We'll be talking later on about patterns and themes, but you may begin to notice particular patterns that show up in your mindful mandalas, especially as you create them over short periods of time. And these patterns may be in the form of shapes having organic lines or harder lines. It may be in um, the way you're expressing yourself as well. So we'll dive into that more later on. I am like a sparkler, fiery and expanding. So you may notice that your affirmations are rooted in a particular object that you see in here as these ones reminded me of sparklers. And there are multiple layers, as I mentioned before, as we do the writing process to dive into physical ob objects or physical elements, as well as mindful or mental and emotional elements. I do recommend also dating your mandalas. If they're in a journal, it's really simple to just date them one by one. You can flip through them. If you separate the pages out or if the pages are already separate, it's nice to have them dated. That way you always can kind of keep track of that snapshot or moment in time. I am one who is suspended, tethered, holding back on my path. One who is bound up and aware of the light and passion in freedom. I feel torn between two parts. The sun will grow new seeds freshly planted. I am weighted by the past. I see where choices lead me and I make a different choice. There are different ways you can use and explore mindful mandalas. These are representing both a morning ritual and an evening routine of diving into the mindful mandala drawings and writings. Some of these include charcoal as well. That's the other material that you're seeing. I am one who is being rebirthed in dark places. And you can see here that there's not a lot of marks here on the page. Some of the marks are very fine and detailed, and then there's broader sweeper, sweeping lines as well. I am hooked between familiar moments. I swing between light and dark places. So you may notice as you're creating that sometimes you'll have companion mandalas. In every direction I grow and remain grounded. I am balanced and calm in body, mind, and spirit. I am one who is fishing, dipping into new waters and growth. I am finding my way. I am one who is on a winding path. I am one who is riding the waves of my emotions, anchored in myself. So you'll see here again a motif or a commonality between these mindful mandalas. And you'll notice these patterns as you make more and more of them with your signature style and preferences of making shapes as well as at different times in your life. I hope you enjoyed that deeper dive into my mindful mandalas practice and that you're feeling inspired to make your own and to dive right in. If you're wanting more guidance and support such as um, prompts for warm-ups to get you drawing or to dive into the specific I am writing process for affirmations, I do have a Mindful Mandalas for Relaxation e-course that I would love for you to join. That writing process and this practice is something I created several years ago, combining Soma Soul and Mindful Drawing. And that four-step writing process is the way that I've found to make meaning from the images. It's really simple and goes very deep. So I'm so excited to share that with you. It's a practice near and dear to my heart. This is a sweet practice for you to do with your children or with kids in general. So it is something you can do for yourself, but also to share it with younger ones. 
to do this practice, you don't need any previous art experience. You don't need a lot of art supplies. I love doing mindful mandalas as five minute mind mindful mandalas. So this can be a daily creative self-care practice. And it really is intended to give yourself permission to play and create and express yourself. It's also a way to mirror back and reflect what you're feeling in this moment. So it is an active meditation where you're being present and it's also a way for us to create meaning of everything that's coming up for us that sometimes can be too difficult to express in words straight out of the gate. So I hope that you will join us for that e-course and connect there and share more of what you're creating. And also I hope that you subscribe and like this video and I will see you in the next video.